Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Bird's Eye New Steam Fresh Fresh Frozen Vegetables Lightly Sauced Vegetables Broccoli Cauliflower Carrots with Cheese Sauce, $2.49 for this bag. I'm ready to get this into the microwave, see how it smells, how it looks, get this into my belly. Freezer Burn starts right now. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master, he's best bud to your taste buds. Once again, today we are reviewing the Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Lightly Sauced Vegetables. What the heck does lightly sauced mean? I don't know. Personally, the only person I like lightly sauced is me, but that's a whole nother story. Okay, so what we have here is broccoli, cauliflower, carrots with cheese sauce, lightly sauced cheese sauce. And in this picture, if you can see there, you know, colorful, big pieces of vegetable here, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Says it's low fat, says it perfectly cooks in the bag and it's brand new. There's about 340 grams in this bag. And once again, this bag was $2.49. Not a meal, this is a side dish, folks, but it's, a, it's one that's not just straight up steamed vegetables. They're now adding some sauce here and this is one of two lightly sauced meals that I'm planning on reviewing in the coming weeks. This steams perfectly in the bag, so it says. And you know, we've had a lot of success in the past with Bird's Eye and some other brands with the steam fresh vegetables. It's a great process. It shows that it keeps all the nutrients in the vegetable and it cooks perfectly. It's way better than, in my opinion, than putting it in a pot, boiling water, doing all that stuff. There's only one way to cook this. That's in the microwave. Place frozen, unopened bag this side up in the microwave. Cook for five to six minutes. Let's stand one minute and then we're gonna get this into my belly. <laughs> Nutrition facts. There's three quarters of a cup per serving. That's about 98 grams. There's three and a half servings per bag. And uh, really, really good stuff to report here. 50 calories per serving, uh, only one and a half grams of total fat. Uh, in each one of these servings and that's good considering there's a cheese sauce here. It's a light, again, it's lightly sauced, but overall this seems like it's pretty legit, pretty healthy. So I've taken this out of the microwave. I cooked it for five and a half minutes. They said between five and six minutes. I split the difference. Here's what we have. As you can see, tons of yellow, tons of cheese on top here. It says lightly sauced, but from the looks of it, it's uh, pretty aggressively sauced, um, heavily sauced. Um, and, but, you know, again, it's low fat, and this is definitely something that smells super awesome. I mean, anything that you can, anytime you can add cheese to vegetables, it's gonna make even the, the staunchest vegetable haters give pause and possibly try something out. Maybe I can get my neighbor Joe to try this broccoli now, uh, for those of you who saw my live show before. So, let's, see what this looks like. Here's a bro piece of broccoli, tons of cheese on top, kind of mushy, um, and I'm wondering if that's the sauce part of it. Here's some cauliflower, a little smaller pieces. The carrots are cut in circles. Um, no fancy cut to it, just cut right down in circles. They're all very, very tender, I can tell, straight from the fork going in, and I'm happy that there are a number of florets, 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 uh, and the broccoli. There are some stalks though. I'm not gonna tell you that it's all broccoli heads. There are some stalks. Initial thoughts with smell, um, very cheesy. Very, very cheesy. I'm hoping this smell, this tastes really good too because I really hope that this is something my kids will eat. Um, in terms of serving size, I would say, you know, if you're gonna do a good job with vegetables, um, this is really maybe a little bit over two serving sizes, not three and a half. Uh, let me put it to you this way. If I split this into three and a half servings, it would not be enough vegetables that I would want my kids to eat, nor should an adult eat. So I think uh, realistically it's more like two servings uh, in terms of vegetables. So let's get to the important stuff. How does it taste? 
I'm going to take this piece of broccoli and I'm going to do one by one. Let's go broccoli first. You know, I, you know, I've been mentioning lightly sauced. It doesn't, it's not lightly sauced in terms of coating. There's a lot of cheese on here, but in terms of taste, it's a nice subtle cheese taste on top of it. Broccoli was nice, very moist, um, held together, wasn't mushy, a little softer than I thought it would be. It's, it's softer than when you steam bag a bag of broccoli, wokley, you know, you get that in the refrigerated set, um, section. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty decent. Let's go with the cauliflower. Do a couple small pieces. Mmm. Even better. But then again, I love cauliflower. Cauliflower with cheese? Oh man, that's really good. Okay, finally, carrot. Nice, sweet carrots. Overall, the cheese sauce is subtle. That's the lightly sauced part. Um, from appearances, it looks way worse than what it really is. Worse for you than what it really is. You'd look at this and you'd be like, man, that is like loaded with cheese. Um, but, and that's just look. Um, but from a taste perspective, it's nice and delicate. It's very light and it's a perfect side dish. I think this is a really, really good effort from Birdseye. This is the bird's eye steam fresh, lightly sauced vegetables, around 250 a bag. I think this was a really good effort, good tasting, uh, healthy, great side dish. My kids are gonna eat, ah, spit all over myself. My kids are gonna eat uh, this up. They're gonna love this. I give this a four and a half star. Question of the day, what is your favorite sauce to put on vegetables? Is it cheese? Is it uh, something else? Barbecue sauce? I don't care. Tell, put it in the comments. What is your favorite sauce to put on vegetables? As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns, and I'll see you next time.